Hare Krishna. So continuing our discussion on how to control different emotions, we already discussed how to control lust and anger. And now the most common question that we find is how to control the mind, how to stop the chattering of this mind and how to make the mind quiet and calm. Bhagavad Gita explains this as well in a very beautiful fashion. Krishna in the sixth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita explains how to meditate. So when he is explaining all this and he advises Arjuna to control his mind, Arjuna says, Chanchala Opimano Krishna. 5,500 years ago, this great fighter, friend and devotee of the Lord by the name Arjuna, he tells Krishna, Oh Krishna, if you tell me to control the wind, I can. But if you tell me to control my mind, I cannot. So it's very, um, very important for us being in this Kali Yuga, to know how to control the mind and what is the process that we can follow on a practical level. Now the mind um, is such a jukebox that it contains thoughts, contains feelings, contains emotions, all the things that we have seen, smelled, tasted, heard, touched, all of them, all these impressions are there in the mind. And we find that sometimes the mind just throws different emotions and it's very difficult for us to concentrate. Students complain, they are studying their books and they feel like going down and playing. And when they are playing down, the mind tells them, you are playing, you have an exam day after tomorrow. So it's very important that we control our mind. If this mind is controlled, the Bhagavad Gita explains it is our best friend. If it is not controlled, it is our greatest enemy. Some even go on to say that this mind is bad. But the way our scriptures describe is like the mind is like a knife. If the knife is in the hand of a surgeon, it saves life. But if the same knife is in the hand of a serial killer, it takes life. So the knife is not good or bad, but the utility of that knife is good or bad. Similarly, our mind, which is so restless and always filled and chatters and never keeps us calm can be properly controlled and also utilized in the right direction. There is a process called as mantra meditation. The word mantra which is very commonly used in uh, Sanatan Dharma has two uh, parts. Mana trayate iti mantra. Mana means mind and trayate means that which frees or delivers. So mantra means chanting a certain uh, sacred um, name of God or a sacred chant which delivers the mind of all the chattering. So the, the, the Srimad Bhagavatam at the end after all the 18,000 verses Shukadeva Goswami says Nama Sankirtana Yasya Sarva Papa Pranashanam Pranama Dukkha Shamanas Tam Namami Harim Param By taking shelter of the holy names of Sri Krishna we find that all our sins are destroyed and we become peaceful. Also in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Suridam Sarva Bhutanam Nyatvamam Shantim Ruchati. If you know Krishna to be your well-wishing friend and you somehow connect with him and use our mental ability in his service, we would find that we become peaceful and the mind becomes calm. So there are two ways we could uh, understand this on a practical um, level. There are do's and there are don'ts. First of all, let us discuss the don'ts. Identify the places where the mind loves to hover. Now analyze and think, is it worth spending your time there? There are people who, as students, confess to me that they are addicted to different uh, sites on the internet and the mind takes them there. There are some who even uh, complain or, or rather they completely confess their inability to overcome smoking. They say, I want to overcome, but the mind is pushing. So the don'ts are, first and foremost, we have to understand where are the places where the mind hovers. Where are the places where it's wasting your time and energy. There has to be practical steps taken not to indulge the mind there. Now, because the mind is like a jumping monkey, if you tell it not to indulge there, you have to also tell it where to indulge. So they are the do's. So I'll give you the A, B, C, D, E for mind control. A is association. When you associate with people who are calm, composed, 
and who have uh, substantial control over their mind, then in that association, we would find it's very easy. Just like if you want to strike good business, we have to have the association of um, intelligent businessmen. If you want to make it good in your life as a student, you have to associate with people who are ambitious. So similarly, if you want to control your mind and calm the mind, we have to associate with elevated devotees. That is A for association. B for books. Let us you know, take this step of reading 10 to 15 minutes of the Bhagavad Gita as it is by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shila Prabhupada, which is the most popular edition on earth at the moment. By reading this Bhagavad Gita, by learning the philosophy and trying to implement it, the mind gets a very positive feed. It gets a feast that it can hoard over and not indulge in negative emotions. C is chanting. As we just discussed, by chanting or mantra, the holy names of the Lord, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. We find that as a student, as a work professional, as a housewife, as a scientist, as a philosopher, as an artist, whatever profession we are in, if you make it a point to chant at least one round of 108 beads of this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, that the mind becomes very calm. It doesn't take long, it just takes 7 to 10 minutes. So get started soon. D is diet. We have to be very careful on what we eat and from where we eat. If we eat unhealthy junk food, which is cooked by people who are agitated, because fire carries the consciousness of the cook, we would find that those who are eating that also become agitated. So we must make it a point that we stick to vegetarian food and even better, we eat sattvic prasad that is offered to Krishna. So when we take care of that D also, what goes in as the diet is also pure. What comes out as the holy name is also pure. What we do with your eyes that is reading is also pure. What you do with your body as association is also pure. And when all the A, B, C, D are pure, the E or the etiquette will be pure. So if you want the etiquette to be Vaishnava-like in such a way that we have mind control, then we have to follow the A, B, C, D, E process. And then we find that it is still difficult, but it's not impossible. So get started. Implement the A, B, C, D in your life and tell me how you feel. Hare Krishna.